I grew up, um, I don't know, 20 minutes from here. Yeah, this is awesome. I love the little stuff like this. You vlogging, bro? Well, we're back at it. Hog hunting. This time we are with Mullet Man. Different, different area of Texas. Different guy. We gotta get some food though. We got some steaks, some some beverages. Hopefully it'll be a good night. Whatever you're, whatever you're feeling, I'm feeling. So do you always have to have a mullet then? Kind of since like, I guess. you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. I was at Justin's house. He's like, oh. you could always wear, you could always just wear a wig. Uh, um, where's the mic cards at? <laughs> he, <laughs> <did>. <laughs> he, he gave me the look like, okay, get out. Kind of, what, what are we rolling with there? Beef loin strip. We can make anything taste good. Yeah. Anything with Frank's deep fry, we, we'll be good. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to steak. That's that's a disgrace. Do what? God, is that, is that a Texas thing? God made this. Wait, really? Oh my god. Am I gonna have to smuggle these back to Nebraska? Yes. Okay. They're so good. I've never even heard of them. Doesn't even look if they're cracked. No. He's confident. made it time to go kill some stuff hopefully some hogs looking for that hog catch and cook today fingers crossed this is incredible I don't even know what any of these are but this is dope one day probably not but one day I have a room like this this is living life folks tell you what Come out here, crack yourself a cold one, depending on your age. Get some steaks brewing, get some fire going. Wait for it to get dark. Then it's time to go uh, hunt down some piggies. Looks like we're getting ready to go duck hunting in Nebraska right now. What are you gonna do? It's freezing. It is cold. It was like 83 degrees like three days ago. Yeah, you look like you're ready to go duck hunting as well. Well, as you guys can tell, there's a handful of animals here, but we are going hog hunting finally. We got the food in our bellies. We got the warm gear on. Time to do some damage. I'm ready. We're due. We've been hunting hogs for two days straight. It's time to happen. Time to kill the first one. Is this 6'5"? Hmm. No? 308. 308. So do you know how to work these then? Nope. Safety? Oh, Jesus. I know how to work that. Oh, okay. I thought about the thermal. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, I need to get one of these. It's so quiet. It's, it's just quiet. Stealthy. And I'll just walk up there. Yeah. And if there's pigs, I'll come back and get you. Okay, cool. Just so we don't spook them. Yeah, that's fine. There's like 20 of them. Come on.
Drop them, dude. Try to shoot another one. Shoot that big one. Right there. Right or there. left? Left. Right where you shot yours. He's standing behind it. Can't see him. You got your first pig, bro. Good God. You dropped him, man. Dude. That was such a hard shot through that tree. Yeah. It's just waiting for it to clear it. Sweet. Oh, my God. Wow. Clean and cook, baby. Catch, so clean, and cook, son. Right and that was tough. Yeah. There was a coyote right here. Yeah, I, after I shot it, I lost. I, I lost where, all. Where, where oh, you dropped them. That's where good. They were in the woods. Were they? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. They were behind a tree. See what I'm talking about? And though, he when the wind's right. Yeah, he barely walked we're out. We're 50 yards from it. But, but they were right here by this tree earlier, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we ran them down. and then went right here. Oh, there's at least 20. Yo, dude, there's tons. I know. Yeah. It's like I wish I could have just kept shooting, but like as soon as I shot the one, I didn't. I couldn't see any because I think I was sitting too low. Yeah. But all right, let's go, go check it out. Oh, I think that's a perfect size eating one, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect size yeah. eating pig. That'll be perfect. Oh. That was eat good. That was funny. It's like. That was a lot more of a hunt than you expect hog hunting. Hog hunting is like drive around, like yeah, this see is him. A, this like, we is actually a like came and like tracked him for. All, I mean, that's a long walk. We probably walked 400 yards. Yeah. Yep. Then laid down, picked one out. As soon as this one passed, it was behind this tree and it walked out. You seriously, you can't get a better eating. And pig just smoked right there. it. Heck yeah, dude. First pig down, son. You don't see anything? That was tough. Did not expect it to be that hard. That was like. It was like stalking like a deer or something. We just chased him and chased him and chased him and chased him. We're also using <clears throat> thermal, so I'm not used to this at all as far as like what it looks like, what you're looking for, how zoomed in you are. Like I had zero depth perception of how far this pig was. <sighs> we got the job done. Now it's time to go back, skin it, clean it, and cook it. Yeah, look at all this. So this is all this stuff where it's all kind of torn up. What do you call it, rut? Yeah. Rutting. They've been rutting. Basically, they just, don't they just put their nose to the ground and just go? Yeah, so... We're trying to get all these pigs off this place. Um, when we go to do food plots and stuff for uh, before deer season, it just puts a toll on all your yeah, equipment. I mean, they probably they just they just tear it up. Big potholes driving anywhere you go. Yeah, just showing you guys exactly literally the damage they were doing as I shot that one. And they're only here for like three minutes. Yeah, whenever we you... chased them all the way down here, and they just and we're just tearing this place up as I shot the pig. We're gonna load the old pig pig up. And uh, try to shoot some more because again, they're causing issues. We got to get rid of them. Shove it up in there. Yeah, that thing reeks. <laughs> that is, that's disgusting. We can get him up. Oh, what is that? He's been shot before. No, I know. That's just... a bone. Do what? That's Bo a piece of bone. A bone just came out? Yeah, it did. Gross. Well, we just made it to the shop. Time to skin this sucker. I'm kinda nervous, I'm not gonna be doing it. Bullet man! You skinning this thing? Do what? Are you skinning it? Do you want me to? I mean, probably. All right, so what I did with this guy, um, as we said earlier, the that back leg had already been shot or something, so it had like some nastiness going it, on. I mean, it reeks. Yeah, that's gross. I cut that leg off. I just don't want it to be anywhere near uh, the meat that we're going to be eating. So. <laughs> and um, you're wearing gloves. Yeah, and I don't ever wear gloves. So that tells you how nasty that was. Yeah, that's gross. Cut up the legs. Bring him down. All right, just cutting down the leg. See, this is I've, I've cleaned stuff like this before. What did I clean like this? Clean some possum like this? Some raccoons? Try to keep as much hair off the meat as possible. Yeah. You always want to cut from the skin. And yeah. Skin inside out. Do you, is it mainly just the back straps or do you kind of just no, do... No, back strap, legs. We take everything off a pig. Okay. Just not that gangrene leg, you know? Do they have any bacon on this? Uh, no, you're not going to get good bacon off of a wild pig. Sweet. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> That'll work. There you go. There you go. See, I'm I'm doing the heavy lifting around here. Clearly, I um, mold man over here is pretty much doing nothing. I'm just over here doing all the work, lifting up sleeves and stuff. So now that you've got a skin, first step, we're gonna take the back strap off. 
Do you think that's the best tasting mate out of the? I mean, I like the ham and all, I think everything on a pig is good. It's all pretty good. Yeah. It's not like one thing that's really good or another. No. Well, we're gonna take the back strap off first. Work on just quartering it out, pretty much. Take off some meat, and then we'll uh, we'll let Ma we'll let Mullet Man just sit there and do it, go grill master style, full blown chef. A few moments later. Well, we're back in the uh, the uh, what do you call this exhibit? The zoo. The zoo. The zoo, the zoo exhibit. Oh, the uh, every animal that walks this planet is uh, up on the wall. What are you thinking, chef? Chef Mullet Man. You need, your, you need your apron? You need a hat? Apron. I got my apron on. <clears throat> you got your apron, you're good. We are going to what are we, marinate. What, what are we doing here? Overnight in lime basil. Really? Fat free dressing. That's important. It's yeah. not barrel season anymore. So I'm just going to wash this meat off and clean it up a little bit. So good. Put all that in there. Get the gaminess out of it. That's it. Just chunk it in the fridge, let it sit overnight. Well, that might have been the easiest uh, marinade I've ever seen. Have you ever done that before? Normally, it's like you put this and you put this and you add, you sprinkle this. You're just like, yeah, let's just dump this bottle in there and throw it in the fridge. So far, that's going to conclude today's episode. I will see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow. Don't you love waking up in a zoo? It just soothes the soul, you know? A safari. Yeah, it's a like... safari. Yeah, you wake up and you don't even see, you don't even need to go to Africa. You just come here. It is the next morning. We are ready to grill it up we as in mullet man is ready to grill it up you're gonna what, what's the strat here throw it on the grill yep sear it both sides okay get a little char on it yeah and then uh throw it in the oven till, yeah until she's done so so that's what we got this is not obviously the entire pig this is just what we're cooking because there's four of us and we can't eat an entire pig in one sitting the rest just got tossed in the freezer yep. but this is what is for lunch we're going to take you guys along the journey of cooking this just because i'm new to this i want to document it and obviously show you guys everything but uh let's go out to the grill Oh, look at this. Imagine waking up every morning, sipping on your coffee right here, just taking a gander. I mean, look at this. What more What more could you want? You got your toys, you got your mules, you got your fire, you got the grill. What's the grill at right now? Grill is at 250. You got, got the goods? I got the goods. Ooh, that's, that's good stuff there, son. Mmm. 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 The pig is on the grill, folks. How long are we cooking this for? Black on each side, so not very long. Keep an eye on it, and then we'll toss it in the oven. I've never cooked a, well, I've never cooked a wild pig at all, ever. But I've never cooked anything really like this, so I'm interested to see. Also, your your marinade, never seen that before. Just tossed it on there and called it a day. Pretty confident in it, huh? Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Ooh, baby, look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. That looks absolutely unreal. Oh my god, does that not look? That looks delicious. Looks like the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I, for one, am very excited for this. It's gonna be a tasty lunch. What's this here? That's, that's the appetizer. Ooh, yeah. bony apple feet, son. And, uh, Let's go in the oven. Take this, just slap it on. 400 degrees. 400 degrees. And uh, how, what's it got at, what's the internal temp need to be? Don't ask me that, I don't know. So we may or may on. not. Don't we, put that on. We may or may not get salmonella. All right, so pig is in the oven. We're about to eat some appetizer or what? Let's see if she's she's done. Oh, money. How excited are you to put this meat in your mouth? Pretty excited. I love meat in my mouth. Ooh. Ooh, backstrap. Ooh, wow. Wow, that was really good. It tastes good. Tastes like tastes like some good meat. But the back strap is super, super tender. You can cut it with a fork. Look at that. Look how tender. Oh yeah, my let's, gosh. Let's see if we can do the, the fork test. Oh, dude, like butter. Like absolute butter. First taste of a, my first ever wild pig. So far, so good. The back strap is good. But now we got to wait for the, what was it? The, what, what are we cooking? Ham. The ham. Wait for the ham to get done in the oven. That's the real taste test. Do your magic. Let's see, see it. Let's see what she looks let's like. Let's see it. Oh. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Alright. Ooh, that smells really good. Dude, I'd be out here just killing these suckers like oh. every weekend and just not have to go grocery shopping. Like, alright, ready? Bony apple feet. 
dude, that's so juicy. Oh my gosh. I would just be eating this all the time. What do you think? You like it? Have you had anything it's like? Not, I mean, like, it, it, what do you compare it to? Pig. Yeah, I feel like good. we could. I feel like we could get creative with the cooking of I, it. I feel. Yeah. Like we got. I think we got to do it again and try to like like smoke it or something good. super yeah. good. I think that would be the idea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There is the wild pig catch, clean and cook. Uh, it was a good time. We actually hunted for three days, not with Mullet Man. This was the first day with Mullet Man, but the last two days we were out with Ultimate Night Vision and. Uh, it was just rough hunting. We just didn't see a whole lot, um, and so we're gonna end up. We're gonna try to come back, obviously, and try to do another episode where we're shooting them through the night vision and making cool, epic content for you guys to watch. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. We will do it again, make it more epic, make it cooler, cook it a different way. Um, but it's something I want to try. As you guys know, I'm on this catch clean cook kick where. Anything that you can hunt, I'm, I'm trying to cook it and I'm trying, or I'm trying to kill it and then cook it and eat it and just try it. And I think that's just kind of part of this whole deal of just tasting stuff. Next is uh, these animals. We gotta go catch, we gotta go to Africa, John. John, where's John? John, we gotta go to Africa, John. We gotta kill all these things and we gotta taste them all. I think that's the next the next trip. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other suggestions of what we can catch, clean, and cook that you guys have not seen on my channel that you would like to see. Also, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.